Hello and welcome to part 3 of the Main Quest Order Beginner's Guide to Orin the will o wisps uh, So for this last part, we're basically just going to be rounding out the run with the last few sections, which is going to be Windswept Wastes and Willow Tree and then the final boss route. And now, uh, we still have God Mode on from previously, uh, but God Mode isn't actually required. Well, it's never required, but um, we're not actually going to need God Mode really for this route until we get to Shriek again. Um, and you may end up quit to menuing just to try this upcoming trick a few times. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'll show you, uh, from here on, I'll show what everything looks like without God Mode. As God Mode is mostly needed for the bosses and not as much for regular traversal. Pardon me, we want to warp up to here. Uh, which is where we were just with Ku. And we want to just head over this section. And right, here's the upcoming skip. If you get this wrong, you will have to quit to menu, uh, which will obviously lose you god mode. But as I said, uh, it's not a huge deal if you lose it. Um, I'm going to, from now, assume I don't have it, so I'm going to bash the first thing I see just to lose it. And yeah, so what we're going to do is jump down onto this. And if you fit Hollow Knight, you'll be familiar with this. Uh, these skeletons, so this one here and there's another one over here you can see. Um, those can be, uh, if you can basically hit those with your sword, and if you hit them, you get your dash back. So what we want to do is jump over to that skeleton on the right hand side, dash over to it, and then we want to down slash off it to pogo off it, and then we want to dash again. And because the game can eat your inputs as you're getting into feeding grounds, we want to mash dash as much as possible. So done correctly, it will look like this. It doesn't matter if you land on that thing, but yeah. And what will happen is this cutscene will be triggered of Ori looking out, being all spooked. But the whole uh, hiding from uh, Shriek section will never begin, so you have full movement here. And uh, to do this the fastest, just stand on top of this, just to jump straight up. Dash over here and grapple up to this. And then, that's it, we're done, we're feeding runs completely now. And that saves a lot of time, so I advise learning it if you can. While it's not fully necessary, the time save is so extreme that it's worth learning IMO. So now we're just going to move into uh, Woods Up Wastes. I'm going to bash up the first thing I see just to lose God Mode. Which is going to be this guy here. And now here, what we want to do is either turn jump up there or just use the two grapple points. Remember that these things will try to eat you if you stay grapple to them, so watch out. Um, and because we're taking more damage here, uh, because of uh, we don't have Goblin anymore and we have Overcharge on. If you're not comfortable with that, equip Reckless, as we never actually need Overcharge again. It just makes Sentry Jumps a bit easier at this point. So for this point, we'll just dash through like that. If you can't do that in time, you can also do a Jump Dash here. Uh, for this point, you can just grapple up and then head down. Do some wall jumps here. And then stand just above at this little pole here and do a full Sentry Jump up to make it up to here. Do a pile of grapples. You can do a damage tank there to head over, um, or you can just, uh, you know, do it normally. Like that. Uh, here, uh, you can stand right here and do a sentry jump, and you can make it up to here. Now here, we're going to dash to the left, and it should take us nicely into Burrow. And Burrow will give you a full health and energy regenerate as well. So don't worry about taking too much damage before then. So with Burrow, we're going to head back to the right. Um, and we're going to be heading up and right from here. So uh, down from here and then up through here. Don't have to jump into the spikes. <laughs> And just head up through this section pretty much as normal from here. And now this is where we used our uh, we have our keystones that we meant to use before. If we stand right about here, we can then burrow up through here, a bit further to the left. And we can use our keystones here. Again, we can quit the menu here. And this is gonna be our, our first quick menu I'm actually showing now because you know I don't have goblin anymore, so I might as well. So this section uh, can be a bit of a pain. What you want to do is uh, Head down here and uh, bring this guy up. Now, you saw I did one dash down to uh, get him to come up with me, and then I came up like that. 
if you do too many dashes in this section, um, then you'll see that uh, he'll get stuck way behind you and he won't be able to make his up. This time he did, but sometimes he doesn't. Another thing that can often happen is if you're not quick enough, then uh, he ends up just procking all the way down there. So I find the best way is dashing into this floor so that you bounce back up and then just heading through like this. Now for this next section, because that first section is quite lengthy, it might be more comfortable to head back up here and get this save trigger over here. You see in the bottom left that that saves the game. Uh, and the save trigger has this range. You can see this little turquoise box here. Um, so you can do that if you'd rather. But what you can do is head down here and then bring this guy up with you by bashing him into the wall. And to get up there, just send him in there and pull this lever. Now, quick into menu here, reset these cycles for the upcoming lasers, which makes things a lot easier. Uh, so I'll show what it looks like with the reset cycles. Um, so you can see what the fastest cycle looks like. And it's very natural to do it as well. So with the fastest cycle, I just dash off here. And there we go. Um, if I don't have the fastest cycle, because I'm, I'm, I haven't quit the menu because I'm on console, or you just don't want to quit the menu, um, then you want to just head down and basically play these cycles very safe. Um, you don't want to take too much damage from them because a death here will reset you back to the start of the whole thing. So just play it safe. Also, if you have god mode still, um, for this part, you want to just uh, go up like this, um, as high up as you can go. Um, you can also send a jump if you'd rather. Um, and then dash underneath this to do, do your dash. Here, if you don't, um, if the cycle's not great for you, you can either do some sword swings to stall in the air, like that, or you can um, just land on this, uh, and then just do this kind of jump over here, and then uh, dash through there. My cycle wasn't perfect there because I was doing it at the wrong time, but yeah, you get the idea. Here, you want to heal up before this next room because uh, dying here also takes a lot of time. So for this part here, uh, you want to have over 3 health and make sure you don't have overcharge on because these lasers do uh, 36 damage with uh, reckless on and 60 with overcharge on. Uh, and I have 4 health here so this is fine. And there's two ways to do this. Either you can do a damage tank way um, by simply just moving through like this. And there we go, safely done. Um, or you can do it the, you know, the intended way uh, where you pretty much just, you know, move around in circles like this uh, to make sure that you don't touch the wall or the lasers because both of those will hurt you. And here, if you're low on energy, uh, you can head to the right and get this spirit wall. It's actually faster to quit to menu the spirit wall rather than watching this little clip. And uh, for this part, what I want to do is head over here to the left and then just do a steady jump right here. And that will bring us up here next to the seed. It's faster to uh, do this bash here. Let's take it off myself again. And here is one of the quit to menus for all players, including consoles, because this cutscene is about 25 30 seconds long. And here, just hold up as you go back into the game to immediately enter, then immediately skip the cutscene by pausing the game. So, in this section, uh, basically, you want to just. It's, it's not really much you can do. There's a few skips you can do, but they're a little bit advanced. So, for now, we're going to you know just skip through the dialogue and you can just mash to get through it. This is another fairly slow section of the run. Uh, this lever can be put to menu if you don't have cut off mode. Even if you have god mode, it's still... Um, so if you have god mode at this point, you would have lost it because of the cut to menu before, so yeah, never mind. <laughs> At this point, it's worth losing God Mode just because there's two important quits and menus that would save so much time. It would take more time to uh, watch those and to get God Mode again. That's four, and I'll have just one last one to watch. Right here. And right, we're gonna now. Uh, just head down here and four flashes on this, we can now head left into the Desert Ruins uh, escape.
And this is another unskippable cutscene. This is where you start getting really nervous for your PB if you're called Scarfelt, which is me. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to just head to the right, uh, right as it starts, and I'll talk through all the things you have to remember, basically, to go as fast as possible. So, um, there's not much you can do at the start besides just dash. Um, you want to do as many burrow dashes as you can, just to get out of here. And here you want to dash to the right, then fall to the left and do a feather before falling to the right, as you can't, fe uh, you know, just move naturally in time. And here you can just, uh... Head up as normal. You want to just stay ahead of the worm here, uh, using these grapples and uh, these burrow points to stay as far ahead as you can. The worm will just warp to you once you hit the spring, you can see below. And here, um, you want to just pretty much circle below the worm like this. Just play it safe. And here it goes burrow, burrow, grapple, burrow, grapple. Uh, here, if you miss that top part, it's not a big deal. You can just look grapple. Uh, here, you want to land on this wooden thing now. And now you just want to basically use the burrow to get through the rest of it. And there we go. The desert escape is definitely the hardest one. So if you're struggling with getting it first time, I recommend practicing it because deaths in the escape sections take a lot of time. So you don't want to have those. Um, here, there's no input you can do except one very important one. You can hold the feather to make Ori's eyes open. Whoa. And then we'll just, just skip to the end of this part. Uh, right here, you won't be able to warp after Ori reaches their default position again, even though it looks like you can. You have to wait until they kind of do that little clip there. I'm going to warp down to uh, the end of Feeding Grounds again, and now we can go do the end of the game and fight Shriek. So here, we're going to dash to the right. And uh, if you're standing too close to the spirit well, you can't press uh, like sword or anything. But you can see about here, you can, and do a standing up here. And now, if you didn't do, if you did feeding ground skip, uh, this part won't be blocked off. And um, if you did do feeding ground skip, sorry, if you didn't do feeding ground skip, you'll have to just watch this cutscene down here as normal, which is very time consuming. Another reason why feeding ground skip is very good. You're just gonna head up here with standing jumps, and then head over to the left, and. Uh, Go beat the game. And you see that last quest is the last one we needed to update, and that's why we have to come here last in main quest order. And also why main quest order was invented, because in any there's nothing to stop you just coming in here and getting launched as soon as you can because of feeding ground skip. So we made this category. But right now we're gonna just kill these guys um, as normal. So you wanna dash back when they're about to spring and jump over that. The second guy will just whiff his first shot completely, so you can just hold bow and he'll still die. takes nine shots to kill him and here you want to wait till they're just about done screaming you see the timing now and then bash through them and you want to use sword swings a bit too because you're you'll run low on energy as you stop screaming uh bash through him and with these turn around and then do the same thing if you don't wait until he stops screaming uh, then he will uh turn around to uh face your direction which you don't want So now we're going to head down here to the right. Uh, uh, for this section here, you want to just fall down here, bash on this guy, and then if you're just in time, you can make it all the way over here. And now we can pick up Launch, the final ability on the most broken one. And uh, with this ability, we can pretty much just right sentry off completely. It's been replaced. Um, in other categories, they do combine it, but not really in main quest order. So for this part, let me show you what to do with this part, because it can be a bit complicated. Um, if you bash on one of these while they're shooting lasers, you can see you just get hit like that. So you want to do that, you basically want to get to them before they start shooting their laser. Um, like that. And you want to launch over to this guy, then launch up. Refresh your launch on the wall, and then launch through the portal. I'll do that again. Like so. It's important to remember with launch that you can dash, launch, and dash again um, in the air. Uh, you can't do two dashes after one launch though, it just gives you all your resources back. So you know you can double jump, dash, launch, double jump, dash. And same when you touch a wall, you get um, everything back, including launch. So um, you can use that to stall, um, but also you know you can use that just to get your movement to be really crazy. So for this part, what we're going to do is just head over here, wait for the laser, launch up. Um, again, wait for the laser, 
and again just head up here. And just to keep dashing, and you'll trigger this cutscene. Sometimes Ori just goes clean over this cutscene. If that happens, just walk back into it. And you can hold up as that happens, um, and you'll immediately enter the arena. Or the lower tree. And this is the last quit to menu uh, for all players, including console. And now it's really important to remember that if you accidentally leave this place again, um, then entering will trigger that whole cutscene again, even though we already skipped it. So make sure you don't leave the willow tree because that will you know, just take you time to quit the menu. So we're going to head to the right first um, and what you can do is actually head underneath it and this wall actually isn't, a, this lava I guess isn't actually a hitbox. But doing it the intended way, what you want to do is just wait for this um, thing to get to a comfortable cycle uh, and then launch up through here. Now here, just wait for all the lasers play as safe as you can. Pogo off this guy, uh, so that he'll die. Um, and in general, you want to just launch away from those guys to make sure they don't explode to kill you. And we're going to launch up into the right here. And here, what you want to do um, is, whenever you uh, shoot this boulder, this uh, thing, this boulder comes down, and escaping it is very time consuming. Um, so what we want to do, so what we want to do is basically shoot this thing up here twice, one, two. Um, and then the next shot will kill it. So what we want to do is just launch to be near next to it, then shoot up with the bow and dash to the left. Um, and I know that probably looked uh, pretty tight, but that's not as hard as you think as you might think it is. So a backup you can do if you're not confident with that, um, which may look very stupid, is you can just stand here and then launch out basically as soon as it's done with you, and it won't kill you. If you move at all, the boulder will kill you. But if you just stand there, it won't. Uh, the fastest thing to kill these hearts is the bow, and there's a little bit of a wall here though, um, which can block you, so if you want you can just launch up then aim down, and four shots will take it out. There's ways to skip all of these heartbreaking cutscenes for PC players, but it's uh, they're quite difficult, so again I'm not going to bother going over them. Uh, here, you can do this the intended way, by just uh, waiting for the, the cycle, like that, or you can um, just drop down here and then dash like that. Uh, this heart is one of the hardest ones, so if you can't get it first time and you're struggling with it, don't worry about it too much. Uh, just play it really slow, really safe. So you want to get up here, making sure when you do your launch, don't accidentally exit here, jump first. And you want to do a dash off it, so you keep your dash, and do a launch over here, and then you can make it onto this platform pretty easily. Also remember you have Fever, so if you're struggling to land on it, you can use Fever instead. Uh, you want to head over to this wall, Come down the wall and then launch out of here. Wait for the little bubble there. And um, that bubble can give you a lot of trouble, it can kill you instantly. I'm gonna wait for a good cycle here. Uh, wait until the laser is pretty much safe to pass, like now. And then head up into the next one. And again, same kind of idea, we're aiming for this top wall up here. Remember as well, you can hold launch because uh, unlike uh, Bash, it doesn't stop time. So you can use that to like make sure you get cycles correct. Uh, so here we're gonna grapple up and it's safe and uh, slightly slower, but there's a checkpoint over here, um, so if you're not confident in doing the whole thing in one go, just grab this checkpoint. So for this part here, what you want to do is just, you know, head down here, wait for a good cycle as before, um, which will look more like this. And then for this part, you want to, um, really want to wait for a better cycle here, which will be really much when it's firing, so you can dash through and then launch up. And then you want to dash over here to the left and launch up into this portal. And then here we can shoot, get right next to it and shoot one, two, three, four. Um, I lied, another two hits because the wall was in the way. And yeah, we're ready to go. Let's just fast forward through this. And um, here, uh, the next uh, safe trigger isn't for a while, so if you want, you can just head down here and grab one. Basically, we, we want to just uh, trigger this guy and jump away from him because he can uh, be quite nasty. Uh, so, like this. And then we want to, that thing over on the left, we want to try and get over to it so we can bash off it, uh, like this. By bashing straight up and then double jumping and launching, you can make it up there. If you're not super confident in that, you can also just bash up and wait for his him to start shooting fireballs again. Like so. So after we get up here, we want to make sure that we trigger this uh, teleport while over here. Um, if you're deciding to use god mode at this point, um, otherwise you don't need to do so. Uh, you can either get god mode here or just before Shriek. So it depends on whether you want to use it for the rest of Willow Tree. However, it's slower to get it here as we're going to have to go do something with first because there's one puzzle in the game that needs Bash, which is the only reason we can't keep God Mode for the whole game. 
So heading over here, we're going to just uh, launch up and then head over past this guy. We're going to bash off this thing and then head up uh, into this puzzle over here. So this puzzle has a lot of moving parts, but if you keep it simple, it's not too bad. So what we're going to do is just head into this portal and then over here, uh, wait for these lasers. So dash through this one and launch through this one. And then we're going to uh, break this and we're going to head down to uh, this thing here. Now it'll shoot three fireballs at a time and uh, what we're going to do is just bash the first one we see downwards and then launch up to this section here and then once this fireball comes down uh, we can then uh, just bash it to the right or to the left it doesn't matter. I'm going to bash it to the left so I can move through the portal to the right so as soon as it appears uh, bash to the right. You see this moves me over here. And now I want to move it um, through the next portal. So as soon as I see it coming, I want to bash it down. And then I want to send myself through this other portal. Like so. Make sure not to get hit by it as it's coming back down towards you. Um, and then we want to bash it into this wall over here. And missing this bash can be very critical. So take your time to line it up properly. And there you go. Shoot. One, two, three, four. And that's that heart done. And this heart can be uh, pretty d uh, damning and dangerous if you mess it up in some way. Uh, so be careful to make sure you're very careful with it and don't waste too much time. Here we can uh, now, basically now we can either choose to do god mode or not, I should have said back here. Yeah, now basically instead of heading back up you can instead teleport over to Luma Pools to do god mode and teleport back to this one here. I'm going to show the rest of Willow Tree without god mode just for the sake of, you know, how, because this is the faster way. But if the rest of Willow Tree is quite difficult for you, um, or even if part 2 is difficult for you, if you want, you can just go up and do this heart first, activate this, and then do the rest of Willow Tree with um, God Mode on. So it's entirely up to you which you do, uh, whichever is more comfortable for you with God Mode. So first we're going to head through um, this section, and then uh, bash up, launch up here even, and then launch up to this part. Uh, this part is uh, pretty much, you can't touch the ground at all, and you have a lot of air time. But remember your launch lets you fully uh, control when you meet cycles, so you can just play it very safe here. So here what I want to do is uh, launch over to here and we can bash to get ourselves into position to head up here. Do a launch and then another burrow. And then up here there's a grapple lantern. Um, which will let us get to this guy, bash off him, and then head up here. Now, it looks like there's a lot of moving parts, but once you understand it, it's uh, pretty easy because the, you know, this everything's pretty spaced out so you have the time to get to each thing you want to. So again, if you play it safe, it should be fine. Head straight back the way we came, uh, like this. <clears throat> now this is a cutscene you have to mash uh, A for you because it's dialogue. And now we're going to be heading up from here. Um, and uh, this heart is pretty difficult um, and has no checkpoint in it, so I recommend taking a save if you're not at full health. So there's two things you can do here. Either you can, you know, head up through here, grapple to here to wait for this and then get this portal. Um, or what you can actually do is uh, this laser over here doesn't have a hitbox at the bottom of it. So you can just stand in it and walk through. Head up through here and then wait for the portal to be in a good position and then launch out. And you can get your uh, jump back and your everything else back by slashing on that guy as you can see. So if that makes you more comfortable, uh, just to make sure the timing's right, then I recommend doing that. Otherwise, you can just bash off him over and over again to make sure you're in the right position to just uh, launch through the portal. That's heart five down, and now we're gonna head down into uh, Willowstone, which is a boss. And here you have to like you can. You have to like wait to, for a certain point to thread the needle here, but there's a safe trigger right here, so even if you like fall on those spikes and die, it's not a big deal. It loses like a second maybe. Uh, so heading up through here, again waiting for the lasers just to be safe. Uh, for this boss fight, it's uh, you can do it in faster ways, but this is a really quick and easy way to deal with this boss. Basically what happens is we're going to land here, and we're going to just aim up and shoot the bow pretty much the whole time. So here we go.
There we go. <laughs> as you can see, not especially challenging. Sometimes, uh, based on your starting position, you can get a slightly more awkward pattern, or it might not just work out for whatever reason. In which case, you might have to improvise a little bit, um, but it's honestly like not a very difficult fight, even if you do. Um, shoot this energy crystal with the bow so you get more energy from it, and then head out like that. Uh, whichever one of these you warp to, it'll warp to like, the one opposite it. So like in that one, you want to just always dash right. Um, here, wait for the laser, and then dash up and over this. And then here, we want to just dash up through this portal, head down here, and just wait on these lasers. There's a part here you can land at. I want to break this thing. It takes three sword swings or two uh, bow shots. And here, the fastest way through this room is just like this. Uh, I'll do that again in case you missed it, uh, or just to go over it better. Um, so you can, instead of going under, you want to just head up and then hug this wall over here and then head up here, shoot this, and then, yep, yeah, that's the next part down. Here we want to head through this, a uh, few portals in this room, but this one just below the, like, tri-laser thing. We head down here, and if you have god mode, you can just simply, uh, you know, head up through here, um, with the god mode, uh, but otherwise what you want to do is, uh, get into here, um, and then just stand in the right places for it. I didn't quite show the first laser, but for the first laser, what it would be is just, you just literally just duck. So I literally just duck here, and it should whiff. Yeah, like so. Anyway, so we get through here. And for this part, uh, again, with god mode, you can just do whatever you want, really. Uh, but without god modes, um, you want to just wait on the patterns like that. And you can just mash the fabric button to just kind of hover in place like this. And for this section, we want to just wait on the cycle and play it safe. Every time you use Feather, you will also get launched back. Like that, so you can make it through in one cycle. But uh, don't try and rush it, because it doesn't take too long for the next cycle to come along. And with that, you're done with Willow Tree. So shoot this uh, to open it, and then head back up to where that dialogue cutscene was. And here you can like launch up and then dash to the left and uh, just you know get launched back like that. And here it's very slightly quicker to um, launch from there and then walk forward. And once you reach this middle point here, uh, we can skip cutscene to start the fight. Um, now I'm gonna head back out because I didn't get god mode, and that's what it looks like if you got god mode earlier. And um, if you didn't, uh, getting up here always activates this spirit well. So as soon as you do, we're gonna head back down towards Limbo Pools with our teleporter. And then we're just going to pick up uh, God Mode really quickly. So just dash straight to the left and we're already in the water and we can start picking up God Mode. There's this guy down here. And these ones are a lot easier to set a God Mode, off, uh, God mode up off because they, you know, they move so slowly. So we can very much just lead them around wherever we want. And then as we drown... As before, now uh, if I did that correctly, um, I should be invincible. I am. So head out of the water, and then head back up towards Willow Tree. That little god mode diversion there probably takes around, uh, you know, 30-40 seconds to do. But, um, if you're dying against Shriek, it's much faster to just get the god mode rather than uh, take the deaths against Shriek, because they can be quite time-consuming. So here, again, quicker to launch into it. And then for Shriek, similar to other bosses, we're just going to hold up and press bow. When she like reels her head up here, we're gonna launch up and press bow, and then just shoot bow again. There we go. And once her health bar disappears, that means the phase is over, so we should stop shooting, and dash to the right, but not too far because we'll end up in that little wall there. So here we want to uh, dash to the right uh, through this whole escape sequence, and this part gets triggered when you move too far to the right, so we're gonna wait for that. Uh, for this part, make sure you don't launch too far down, because uh, you need to want to save your launch to make sure you can reach this part here. Here, we're going to launch down here and uh, just head out through the section over into phase 3 now. So just aim up here and shoot as she comes down. And then shoot this to get max energy back off it. And different attacks do different things. This one, uh, I'll try to show all of them. This one you can just aim up pretty much and fire as much as you want, as long as she hits the ground. 
Um, this sweep, you can't really do anything. With God Mode, you can aim up left like that, but you know. Over here, what we want to do is um, launch up and get our launch back with Sword. Like that. Um, this one, we just want to aim straight at her and bow with God Mode. This is the one attack where you cannot do anything at all. We have to just wait, and obviously we don't want to bash and lose God Mode. Uh, this one, you can also hit her as she's on her way past. So this attack is just going to shoot a laser at us, so what we want to do is just, you know, head up and shoot the bow a few times. And we just shoot way more than that, obviously I'm just trying to keep her alive to show up more of the phases. This attack, she's going to fly up and then she's going to land down three times. And she can break the ground if you land, like, either here or here. Which is slightly quicker uh, when moving on to the next phase. This energy crystal might have respawned. If it hasn't, you can die. And even if you have god mode at this point, um, it's worth mentioning that uh, jumping in here will actually void you out um, rather than killing you. Which will simply just restart you at the phase you were last at. Um, and you'll still keep god mode, which is obviously very good. For this last section though, uh, we can stand here and just avoid taking all damage, uh, even without god mode. I'm also going to turn off god mode because we're going to have to lose it here because we have to bash to keep ourselves afloat. So I'll show you the strategy that I use for this section. Everyone has slightly different ones, so you can use whatever works most comfortable for you. Um, so after Shriek is finished here, um, she will go to the right, so I do a double jump launch. I dash to the left on this one, and I uh, float onto this one, wait for one of these, I dash launch up and head over to the right again. I do a slash just to get all our resources back. And then just basically just keep launching and slashing. And every time I launch or bash, I'll get my um, launch back. Um, or anyway, slash or bash, I'll get my launch back and I can just keep doing that. And um, if it goes past one phase, that's fine. You can just keep doing that until she's dead. And if you're out of energy as well, it's fine to use slashes. They don't do that much less damage at that point. So yeah, that's basically the whole run. Time isn't quite yet though. You have to watch all these cutscenes, which I will fast forward through, even though they're very sad and very good. Um, and basically, you have to watch all these cutscenes, and then uh, at this point, the game will let you walk to the right. And you can see on my thing, I'm just holding right with both of my fingers. You can hold it with whatever, obviously. And yeah, there's not really much going on here. You can, however, try to read the map up, at which point the game will tell you the map is not available here, which is very important. But yeah, that's basically it. That's Ori and the Will of the Wisps main quest order. And time will be once we reach the little... Uh, glowing orb sire, 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 whatever. So yeah, um, I hope that was helpful. I hope I didn't go too quickly. I hope that people are able to understand what I'm saying because I know my voice can be uh, quite hard to understand. So yeah, if you have any questions, please let me know. My Discord is in the description and I respond to all my comments on YouTube. Um, I can add things to my physical guide as well. So yeah, I really hope this helps. I hope that you enjoy running main quest order no matter what your method is. You know, PC, console, keyboard, controller, whatever. So yeah, thank you very much. That's time. So yeah.